If someone asked you what people rate as the best job, of all the jobs, what's the best? My bet is that you'd be surprised by the answer. At least the answer that has cropped up in results of a recent survey and that repeats the findings from earlier surveys. This job has won the race for a couple of years in a row now, in different surveys in the US and the UK. They say that the best job of all is Java programmer. Not just any programmer, but specifically Java programmer. OK, there are some selection criteria at play here. These surveys come from big web recruitment sites. But even so, I at least still found this a little bit surprising. But then, when I stopped and thought about it, I spent a fair chunk of my career working as a Java programmer, and I have very few complaints. We'll skim past EJB rather quickly. So here's my take on why describing Java programmer as the best job of them all may not be totally crazy. Hi, I'm Dave Farley of Continuous Delivery. Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't been here before, please do hit subscribe. And if you enjoy the content today, hit like as well. I'd like to begin by thanking our sponsors, Harness, Equal Experts, Octopus, Specflow, and Linode. They're all supporting the channel, so please support them in turn by checking out their links in the description below. When I saw someone recently referring to Java as the best job in the world, it caught my interest. When I tracked it down, I found that they were reporting the findings from a recent survey. The survey was originated by an online recruitment co company called Glassdoor. The rankings were calculated based on job satisfaction, average salary, and the number of jobs that were advertised. I'm also very pleased to see that there were an awful lot of other STEM jobs in the top 25, not all software related, so that's pretty cool. The reason that this piqued my interest, though, was because my first thought was, really? Java programmer? But then when I thought about it, I thought, well, well, actually, I'd probably vote for that too. So let's try and unpack this a little bit, and I want to add some of my own thoughts, a little bit more from a technologist's slant than is represented in the survey. I think that being a programmer is a great job, or can be. I think that working with Java is great, or can be. First, the Java bit. Java's got a bit of a bad rap. As usual, some of this is deserved and some is just made up. Before Java, I was a C++ programmer. I worked on some cool things in C++. I moved to a new job in the late 1990s and my first project for them was in Java. At the time, this company did projects mostly in either C++ or Java. Some people still call Java a lobotomized version of C++. It's a rather rude way of saying it, but I guess it's kind of right. Java traded off the risky stuff in C++ to make it easier to use. In those days, the saying was that C++ was great, but if things went wrong you, and you shot yourself in the foot, you'd tend to blow your whole leg off. Java allowed us to shoot ourselves in the foot and only leave us with a bit of a limp. The big step forward, the huge step forward, was garbage collection. Battle-scarred C++ programmers like me had over time learnt defensive tricks to protect ourselves from the dreaded pointer problems that were so commonplace. We do things like allocate fr and free in the same scope, and most of us had our own, or at least our favourite, smart pointers. My new employers were relatively early adopters of Java, and, we, and so they were measuring the impact on uh, our projects of their choice. For biggish software projects built by teams of people, we found a 25% improvement in the productivity of those teams in the switch from C++ to Java. Almost wholly down to not needing to chase down or worry about in the first place pointer bugs anymore. I'm not sure that I've seen as big a step in productivity as that ever since. The big downside in those days was that Java was slow. Surprisingly, the best JDK at the time was, came from Microsoft, but even that produced code that was a lot slower than C or C++, which is what people were used to. So you picked Java for building bigger systems and C++ for building systems where performance was important. 
Scripting languages were mostly used for kind of peripheral glue code, at least in the projects that I worked on, because they were much slower than even Java, so not up to building real software systems at the time. These days, things have moved on, but the arguments haven't too much. I still commonly see arguments that Java is too slow for really fast things. This is simply isn't true anymore. Java is now one of the fastest languages around. There is a tiny, tiny degree of truth in this complaint, at the very, very limits of performance. C++ does give you more control over the CPU, so it makes it easier to do things like processor pinning or lock-free coding. But, to be honest, if you care enough to want to do those kinds of things, you can probably figure out how to do that in Java too. Garbage collection in any language comes at a cost, but modern garbage collectors in Java are fantastic and massively optimised. Even so, if you really do care about those limits of performance, there are design approaches that you can take that mean that you never need to collect and so incur no overhead at all. Also, while we're on the topic of performance, today Java has an unfair advantage. And so is one of the fastest languages at runtime. Its compilers have pushed the boundaries of optimization and have a significant home field advantage in that they continue the compilation and optimization of the code at runtime, analyzing what's going on while the program is actually running and making it even faster. I worked on several trading systems with world-class performance and they were written in Java. But Java's not really up against C++ that often anymore. More often it's in competition with languages like JavaScript, Python, C Sharp or even PHP. Which is interesting if only to notice that JavaScript and C Sharp wouldn't exist in their current form without the very heavy influence from Java. PHP isn't really a general purpose language. After all, not all software that's written is aimed at producing websites. A few years ago, I might have said the same thing about JavaScript, but with server-side JavaScript, that has changed. So, this leaves Python and JavaScript as direct competitors. I'll explain why I haven't included C Sharp in just a sec. Incidentally, of course, there are lots of other interesting, effective, productive programming languages. But, based on the job market, they're minority sports compared to these five. Python is more distinct than the others when compared to Java. It's also one of the languages that I like to use. But if I'm honest, though I really like Python for myself, I'd prefer to use something else if I was building software as part of a bigger team. All things being equal, which of course they're not, I'd pick Java or C Sharp. I confess that I think C Sharp is simply Microsoft's version of Java. I know there's more to it than that. but they're so similar. I've certainly done more Java programming than C Sharp programming, but I have worked on several professional C Sharp systems and I've hired C Sharp programmers to work on Java projects. My experience is that switching between them either way, you barely need to change gear. Comparing Java to JavaScript and Python really depends on the type of system that we're building. If you're building web pages, Java's possible, but a bit clunky. If you're building server-side code, the others are possible, but slow. So, you make your choice. But that's not the only reason that I'd tend to prefer Java or C-sharp. I think that the tooling, language support and culture around these languages feels like it helps more to encourage a more modular, more compartmentalised approach to design. That helps to better manage the complexity of complex systems. And so, as a developer, gives me more confidence in my changes. So, less stress in my job. Let's be very clear about this. I'm not saying that Java programmers are better. I'd, I would, though, argue that the tools are better. But you can write crap code in any language, including Java. It's just that the tools and whole ecosystem in, jo in the Java world make it feel a little less risky to me. I'm sure that some of this is down to my personal biases, but I can give you an example. I would certainly take a job on a Python project if the team were practicing a good version of test-driven development. I, suddenly, I certainly wouldn't take that job otherwise, unless I was going to be working alone. That's mostly down to static typing. Java was widely seen as a simplified C++ when it was created, and that was its intention. 
One of the goals that James Gosling, Java's creator, had was to make Java easier and less risky than C++, and it is but also familiar to programmers transitioning from what was at the time the most popular language, C++, and it does. It's also easier and less risky than Python and JavaScript too. Static typing in Java gives us two valuable things, both of which help to increase our confidence in the code. Fast compile time feedback on the correctness of our code, and because of the tool ability of the language, in part reinforced by that static typing, the ability to create fast, efficient tools that speed that feedback even more. So that we can highlight mistakes and automate refactoring steps, at least as well as in any other language that I've ever seen, and better than most. So, how does all this help to make the job of Java programmer the best? Well, that increase in confidence that these features give to a programmer means that they can change code with less fear, and so work with less stress. Yes, Java is verbose, but this is a big advantage. I can be much more confident making changes to an unfamiliar code base written in Java or C-sharp than I can for code written in Python or JavaScript. I've used all of the languages that commonly make the top five in commercial systems, and I've enjoyed working in all of them. But I think that Java is ultimately more flexible and less stressful for bigger projects. As long as we all remember that people can and do still write crap code in Java. What about the programmer part of Java programmer? Well, I think that being a programmer is a great job. Every job has stuff to complain about, but programming has a lot going for it. It's creative, intellectually stimulating. Coding itself has this weird addictive quality, and it pays pretty well. As the survey shows, programming in general is well paid compared to other jobs. There's also lots of work and a shortage of people to do it. This has been largely true for most of my career, which has lasted 40 years so far. I am certain that it doesn't feel like that to everyone. If you're just starting out and trying to get your first job, it probably feels a bit like a walled garden and people I won't let you in. Even so, once you have that first job, it's comparatively easy to get the next. Programming is pretty global in demand, and to some degree, it's less location dependent than many other jobs. Demand for software development skills is pretty international. I don't mean to belittle anyone's local difficulties with any of this. But programming in general, as a job, is less tied to local laws or practices than many other jobs are. Software development in much of the world is conducted in English, so being able to speak some English increases your mobility, but I think that there is a degree to which software is less geographically bound. Then we have the remote working. My impression is that difficult as it has been for lots of people, software developers adopted more easily to remote working from home than many people did. We were more familiar with the tech and better placed to coordinate our work through things like version control and continuous integration. And maybe more used to being socially distant too. The geographic spread of employment opportunities was amplified as a result of all of this. I know of many people now who live in one country and work remotely for companies that are based in another. So it pays well and there's lots of work. That leaves the last criteria that the survey producers used to measure this stuff. The most subjective, perhaps, job satisfaction. Does working as a programmer increase our job satisfaction? Clearly this is both more subjective and contextual. I often meet people who don't seem to be having a great time working as a programmer. They complain of not having the freedom to make choices that affect their work. They complain about being forced to compromise on quality of their work and being under stress to deliver. I think that all of these are reasonable worries. I don't mean to belittle them. But are those things any better in other jobs? I guess it depends on the other jobs. If you work in a call centre, then you're probably being asked to follow some fairly formal script, not much freedom of action there. If you are an airline pilot, your main job is mostly a kind of technical administration, planning the route and managing the systems in the aircraft. On average, a commercial pilot flies a plane for less than 10 minutes per flight. 
Flying as a job though is quite good as a comparison. It's technical, it pays on average a little bit less than programming but in the similar ballpark. Um, I have several friends who are commercial pilots and when they get together and talk about work they're not waxing lyrical about the joys of flying. They're griping about the shift system and passing their next six monthly flight review. Medical professionals that I know get job satisfaction from helping people, sure, but they also feel worn down by the physical and emotional demands of their jobs and the demands of working in often bureaucratic systems. Personally, I feel very lucky to have found a career that suits me quite so well. What I've learned about myself over the years is that I love learning. I like the practical problem solving too. Programming gives me both of these, not as some kind of side benefit, but they are central to what it is that we really do. They are at the core of our job. I started programming as a hobby, and so I enjoy the act of writing code, still after all these years. And I still feel like I've had a good day at work when I've written some code, even if it is simple code to solve a boring problem. Software is the driving force in our culture at the moment. It's the thing that allows us to do things as a society and as a species that have never been possible before. Like anything else, this has pros and cons, but to work in a discipline that can have an impact on our culture and our society and people at large is a quite a nice thing. Not all of us get to work on earth-shattering, globally influential things but our profession does, and for me at least, even if it isn't me doing that work, I love the fact that I understand how these things work. For smart, intellectually curious people, I can't think of a better job. There are lots of dream jobs, many of them unrealistic for most of us. I'd like to be an airshow pilot, an astronaut, or a research scientist. But there's stuff that I'd have to give up to trade in to do any of these jobs, even if I could do them. So yes, now I come to think of it, Java programmers are a pretty good call for the best job. Thank you very much for watching.